What is up everybody this is Real Gamer and welcome back to the channel today we are finally doing the Q&A that I said I was going to do when I was reaching almost a thousand subscribers which we, we recently hit a thousand let's see we are currently at let me check here uh all it says is 1k let's go to the actual channel we have 1039 subscribers so thank you guys so much for the support it, thank you guys so much like honestly 500 was a big milestone for me and knowing that we got to a thousand we doubled that within within a year actually so I'm really happy about that thank you guys so much let's hit 5,000 and then let's hit 10,000 and let's continue let's see how far we can go with this channel and thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos well, if, if you even if it was five minutes ten minutes somewhere thirty minutes and you guys still stuck uh, stuck through those videos thank you guys so much it means the world to me I put so much time on this channel and I'm glad to see that it's finally paying off and that you guys are enjoying the content that I produce so thank you guys so much but let's get to the reason why we're here we are here for the Q&A you guys ask me questions and now I'm gonna answer them for you guys in this video so I'm gonna be going to the video over here uh, Q&A okay let's scroll down Oh, advertisements let's ignore those all right, first one, Derek Lara. Hey, three Halo gamer. I have been here since you started uploading videos, and around five to ten subscribers. But I, but will you ever consider getting a Beast desktop to start PC gaming? Well, Derek, I remember you. Yeah, I remember you actually made a video uh, saying that I was one of your favorite YouTubers. So thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you so much, actually. I do remember you guys. If you guys are constant people that show up on the channel, I do remember you guys by name. So yes, actually I do have a pretty cool uh, PC setup. A, it's a gaming PC. Uh, I got it off. Uh, what's it called? I buy power? No, no, no. Cyber PC. Yeah, Cyber PC. Something. Let me see. Cyber Power PC. There you go. I get those two names confused. I got it from Cyber Power PC, and I'll be showing you. Uh, I'll. I guess I'll do like a slideshow, or I'll be talking over the video. But yes, um, I can't tell you all the details right now. But it's pretty powerful. I. I do play a lot more PC games. Um, I find myself playing more PC games than I, than I do playing my actual. Xbox one well but I still hop on there every now and then just to see what the guys are doing so yeah whenever Xbox games so, uh, like battlefront start coming out on the Xbox one I'll switch back to the Xbox but yes I do have a pretty powerful PC for gaming so yes I do up next waffles forever full there's a YouTube partner of mine he asked a question I have a question can I can I ask you a question No. Next question. Pedro Montano. This is actually one of my friends, so I'm glad that he took time out of his day to comment on this video. Here's my question. What was your most favorite video game back in your childhood? I assume childhood is between the ages of 1 and 13. So, I'm not sure. I think, okay, I think it's Wizard 101 or Roblox, those games that I started showing you guys on the channel, those are not new games, I've actually played those when I was younger, and I actually used to live in this house before I moved and then I moved back, so yes, I used to play those games and now they are completely different games than what they were a few years ago. So yeah, I think those were my favorite childhood games because I played them so much and I, around the time I didn't have Xbox Live, I didn't have any sort of online connectivity with other players. So when I hopped on the PC and, and tried out Wizard 101 and Roblox, I was amazed by what technology could do, putting me in a virtual world with other players and being able to talk to them, play with them and go questing together. And it, it was so cool. So those two games are the ones that got me hooked when I was a kid because they were just amazing and revolutionary for the experience that I had when I was a kid. Next question. Okay, so we got a we got a good question over here. Uh, who is your favorite Mortal Kombat X character and why? My favorite Mortal Kombat character, Mortal Kombat X character is Ermac. Ermac because he, two reasons. One because I'm really good with him. So that's one. I'm he's actually my best Mortal Kombat character in both Mortal Kombat Night and Mortal Kombat 10 so that's why he's one of my favorite characters the second reason is this is a pretty interesting reason I try to go for the underdogs in video games 
when I say that I don't mean one particular person or character, what I mean is that I try to ex I try to experiment with characters that are not well not you know popular with the fan base. For example, if I hop into Mortal Kombat X and it, we start talking about Mortal Kombat, the first characters you're gonna think about are Sub Zero and Scorpion and these other ninjas. So most likely when you jump into a multiplayer match or play with your friends, those are the characters they're going to pick and it makes them more predictable to the match. So I decided back when I played to, uh, Mortal Kombat 9, I'm going to experience with other characters. I tried Jax, I tried Sonya, I tried Cabal, I tried all kinds of characters. I tried Ermac and his range attacks were really interesting so I started playing training mode and it, before I knew it I was getting pretty good with him. So yeah. Ermac is now my best and favorite character. So yeah, I think his, his story is pretty interesting, his lore, except for the ending in Mortal Kombat 10. I hated that ending. I'm not gonna spoil it. He, it just doesn't make sense. You know, they should have given him a better, a better ending for Ermac. Poor Ermac. He didn't deserve it. Okay, another question from the same person. Since you play a lot, would you ever consider other kinds of gameplay such as Killer Instinct? Or even do a few playthroughs with various characters on Mortal Kombat X or Classic Tower. Early congratulations, also congrats on, on the getting 1000 subs man. Keep the videos going and I am glad to see that this channel is growing by the days. Thank you so much, honestly thank you so much for your nice comment. Hopefully you stick around and see more of my videos. And I can tell by your questions that you really do, uh, you really do like the Mortal Kombat uh, video. So, tell you what, let me know if you want anything in particular that you want to see from Mortal Kombat and I'll try to make a video of it just for you, man. Thank you so much for your nice comment. So, uh, consider playing other games. I, I assume you mean fighting games. I've tried Killer Instinct and it's pretty fun, but it lacks characters. The Season 2 is out, I think, and I think the Season 2 is about to finish where they released all the season 2 characters so I have to get back on it and I probably have to purchase season 2 but yes it's Killer Instinct I really enjoyed it it's super fast paced and it has a lot of music to it. it has some really good music to it the combos they have certain beats that activate whenever you do certain hits and it's pretty interesting pretty unique for a fighting game pretty fast paced I enjoyed it I ended up hopping back to Mortal Kombat 9 which was my other favorite uh, fighting game and I noticed I felt so slow fighting because I was playing so much Killer Instinct. Uh, doing other playthroughs with various characters on Mortal Kombat X or Classic Tower. Classic Tower and yeah I have actually done that I have an entire playlist on my channel if you want to check that out. It's an entire playlist where I show off everybody's ending and I think I still need to do the, the if you want to see the Classic Tower gameplay like the entire thing excluding or including ending I can do that for you man no problem. I've also done all the DLC characters from Mortal Kombat so I basically milked Mortal Kombat X with videos. I made, I made a lot of videos on Mortal Kombat X and I think that's the reason why my channel started growing a bit uh, because of the Mortal Kombat videos. So yeah, hopefully we can get back into Mortal Kombat and yeah, make some more videos for you guys. Junior Reese, I've been following you since you had 300 subscribers. LOL, thank, thank you. That's dedication right there. My question is, are you into sports games? FIFA, Madden, NBA. Okay, so yes and no because some people don't consider this a sport, but okay, I'm not into FIFA. I wish I could get into those games, but I'm not knowing the, the main reason why people don't get into games like that if it's a sports game is because they don't really know the characters. They know how to play. Uh, they don't know how to play the console versions or they don't know the characters, the players. So I think that's the main, the main reason for me why I don't play those games, but I do play and I hope to get back into the WWE games. I really enjoyed all the WWE games. I have um, I have SmackDown. Here comes the pain, which I never opened. It's still there uh, in one of the back drawers. I got WWE, you know, SmackDown vs Raw, 2006, and I got 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, and 2012. I didn't play 2010. Uh, 13 didn't play it, 14 I think is out, I didn't play that one either, and I think 15 is coming out with the Terminator. No wait, or 16, I'm not sure, I lost count. But yeah, I really enjoyed the wrestling games, they were pretty interesting, and yes, wrestling's fake, but I enjoyed it, I didn't know that until I got older. Yes, yeah, so hopefully, if I start watching it again, I could learn some of the new wrestlers that come in, so I'll be able to play those again. So yeah, sports games, WWE, 
Next question. Merlin Ross, who would you rather fight? A demon but have no chance at winning or an old lady but you will be shunned until the day you die? Honestly, I would rather fight a demon because, okay, so in both occasions, I'm sure you, you I'm sure I'm gonna end up in the newspaper for beating up an old lady. Yeah, I'm gonna beat up an old lady and I'm gonna show up in the newspaper. But I'm sure I'll get more attention if people re if people found out that a demon showed up out of nowhere, which we've never seen before. And I attempted to beat him up, and I had no chance. Like, like that guy tried to beat up a demon. <laughs> okay, so I yeah, I can imagine, you know, two friends, one successful, one's not. Hey, this guy beats up a demon. What are you doing with your life? You know, I'll get more attention with that one. Yeah, you know, people will say their prayers, start coming into the channel, start subscribing in memory of Three Halo Gamer. So yeah, I don't know what I just did there. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what to call what I just did there. I made a story up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, Brian Lemus, where you going to make? When are you going to make your updated Xbox One collection? Been here since 70 subs, bro. Keep it up. Thank you so much. 70 subscribers was a long time ago, back in 2010, I think. So yeah, thank you so much for your dedication to the channel. We just hit a thousand, and thank you so much. Hopefully you stay around, watch more gameplays, watch more walkthroughs. Hopefully we have some fun. Okay, so. The reason why I haven't made an Xbox One collection update is because I stopped getting the physical copies of them. I had, let me see, they're right up here. I have one, two, let me see, let me grab them. Let me, let me grab them for you guys. See, uh, right here, what I'm about to show you guys is my entire physical Xbox One collection. Like, this is it. This is all I have. Okay. So here we go. I got Destiny, which was a fun game, good gameplay. The story made no freaking sense at all. No. The writers? <sighs> Next up, Call of Duty Ghosts. This is probably my favorite Call of Duty of all time because I, I uh, not because of the story or what e other people say because I spent so much time on this one. I got to Prestige 9, I think. I think I think it's been a while. I think 10 is the max prestige and I got to 9. And I couldn't achieve my goal. I don't know. I, I got I got bored after uh, after Prestige Nine, and I guess I needed more DLC maps to play. And my friends didn't really play because they try to ignore Call of Duty. You know, they believe that it's too mainstream and all the uh, MLG smoke weed everyday kids play it. So yeah, I couldn't get to ten. I got bored. So yes, but I think this is the time. This is the one where I spent most of my time at this Call of Duty. Besides this one, it was Black Ops 2, but I only got to Prestige 3 on that one. So that's what happened on on Call of Duty Ghost. Next, Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare. I played this a decent amount of times. I do have a friend uh, named Bidoza. He beat the crap out of this game. Like, I don't know. I don't know what he did. I think he started his own garden as well, just because of this game. Insane. Insane. Battlefield 4, I played this one almost, I think, half of what I, okay, I, how do I explain it, okay, if, if you could cut the time from what I played Call of Duty Ghosts in half, that's around how much time I played Battlefield 4, but it's fun and I hope to get some DLCs for it because I have a friend that really wants me to play it and he's a really good friend of mine, he actually left a comment here, see if you guys could figure it out, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get DLCs. I heard they're having nighttime maps, current maps. Shadow of Mordor. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. I'm also gonna try to get Mad Max for this one. Uh, made by the same people, so Mad Max should not be too bad. I hope it's good. Shadow of Mordor. I beat it. All the achievements. First Xbox game where I got all the achievements. Next up, Titanfall. Uh, good game. Good idea. Good graphics. Repetitive as hell. What happened? No. No, please. DLCs? Forget that. Thief! Depressing as hell. Oh my god. This was so depressing. Okay, there's no there's no daytime. Everybody you meet has problems, and I think I've said this before. Everyone that you run into has problems. Even in the conversations you overhear. 
Uh, yeah, Dark Time, everything's depressing. I hated this game. It had a good environment, good graphics. Terrifying. Halo the Master Chief Collection. I have to beat Halo 4 on this one before Halo 5 comes out so I could get that really cool armor uh, where you get... It's it's like elite based armor in Halo 5. I put an image above it on here on the screen. So yes, um, it's a really cool armor that you'll get in Halo 5 if you beat all the Halos on Legendary. So I beat all the Halos already except for Halo 4. So I still need to do that one. Halos was started my game. I mean my channel. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I'm ashamed. I'm gonna end the video now. Goodbye. Good. Okay, those are my Xbox One games. This is it. Uh, the rest are actually in my in my Xbox digital collection. So yeah, I'm not sure if I can show you guys. I'll do. I'll make another video of it separately. But yeah, that's. I took. I took quite a quite a bit of time on that question. Okay, next question. Uh, okay, I am the first in earth, the second in heaven. I appear two times in a week. You can only see me once in a year, although I am in the middle of the sea. Who am I? A drug addict. No, okay. Uh, Alright, I was actually thinking about it, but they left the answer right here in the comment section. And I think this makes sense. The letter E. Okay, let's see. I am the first in earth, earth starts with an E, the second in heaven, second, the E is in the second, okay, okay, no, uh, heaven, okay, okay, second E, okay, I appear two times in a week, week has two E's, you can only see me once in a year, okay, year has one E, although I am the middle of the C, the letter E is in the middle of the, C. oh, okay, that's clever, but why does it say who am I? E is not a person. No. I should say, what am I? You know. Your question is flawed. Invalid. Leave. It's over. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That was my second Q&A. And I'm really glad that you guys left some more comments. I am not disappointed. We had a good amount of comments. I think this equals the amount of comments we had in the first Q&A. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we can reach 5,000. As always, remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield. See ya. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sunrise.